Susan! Hi, and welcome to this build. Uh, normally I would just jump into it, but this video is going to be a bit different, so I wanted to tell you about it. So, uh, I made this as a stream on Twitch, and <laughs> that is why I'm using the Twitch show late, just to be like in keeping with, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep some parts like when I made the dude that the game forced me to, to use for the new game I started. And because a lot of the build is based on this guy, <laughs> I just sort of, he has popped up like randomized dude and then it's one of the pre-made sims from Maxis and then and then I just put traits and aspirations on him and then I went to the, into the game and I saw where, where I ended up and I already had a backstory for him like in my mind it just sort of created itself so I think it's important to leave that there but otherwise I'm going to speed quite a bit up because I actually have six hours of contents to somehow cram into this video. Hope you'll enjoy it. Here's me. Okay, so let's start building, I think. Oh, I tabbed into the game. <laughs> Everything went dark for me. Okay, game. So are we going to do a new game? Yeah, why not? Let's just do a new game. We, we will not be messing anything up. Show, babe. It's the uh, oh my god, I need... Okay, this dude will apparently have a name. Jabari Mixon. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, okay, so he, he oh. wants fortune uh, in a big house. And then he wants uh, to be romantic Fish, and... Uh, <laughs> and materialistic, and also he's going to hate children. <laughs> I don't know, I just needed a sim. Maybe you could start a new game without doing a new sim? I don't even know. I'm not going to save this game, I think. Oh dear, so we need to, sh uh, to choose carefully, but because whatever we choose, we will build in. Probably we'll just build in summer, because there will be no time for the game to fix anything. But let's go into spring, because I have never started a game in spring before. <laughs> for reals. Uh, so where will we, we... I don't even know what I'm, I want to build. I'm so tired, that's why I, tried, I, I wanted to do a build of some sort. I don't know... Windenburg, maybe, because it was a long time since I've been here. We have a huge lot here, so we can build something really huge. Um, okay, so let's move you in there. I don't want to go into the lot now. Oh. But maybe we'll build him some cute little house here then. This dude can have a little house. Oh, it actually looks pretty horrible <laughs> here, because it's dark and... Uh, okay, it's raining. So, uh, let's bulldoze this. Yes. <laughs> let's take that away. And we have lots of money now. And we can... We can start building something. So what, what does he need? Is he going to do a compact living situation or something? Like, what do we have here really? Okay, so he has some fancy as neighbors. Like those houses are so fancy. But I don't think he he does not look that fancy. Oh, but he has the aspiration to be fancy. Okay, so what if we built something that really didn't uh, fit in with the neighborhood? So we, we build a really tall house. Okay, so here's me building the tallest house that I could possibly do and that turns out to be four stories and then uh, something on the roof. So I did a sunroof up there 
and then I decided, well, let's start with the roof and then work our way down. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought it looked like a monolith from uh, 2001 at this point, so that's why I painted it black. <laughs> I thought that fit really well. Uh, and then I never uh, changed that because I think that black, it works, right? So what do you want on the roof? Well, naturally you want to be able to have a barbecue up there and you want somewhere to sit and then maybe some entertainment. Yeah, okay, so uh, I think you get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. And this is sped up like eight times and I usually do a four times uh, speed <laughs> when I do speed builds. But I was talking so much in the stream that sometimes I just sat around uh, not moving the camera. And so I think that eight times speed will actually be <laughs> quite possible to follow anyways. Uh, usually I think that's way too fast, but this time... And also, also, I had, when I dragged all my uh, all of my recordings into Premiere, I realized that I had six hours of material. <laughs> so, uh, unless you want to watch a video that is several hours long, then this is the speed we're going for, and I think it works. I really do. And also, uh, as you can probably see here, uh, he lives alone, this dude. And he has a kiddie pool, a swing set, and monkey bars on top of his roof. So he's a bit silly. <laughs> and also, uh, he swings with his feet all over the edge there. It's quite dangerous, but that's the way he apparently likes it. And I don't think that Sims can fall off the roof, you know? But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, even though it might not be possible in-game, you know, there's a way you can pretend about that. Oh, right. And I said multiple times while building this that I am not starting a new series and I'm not going to play with this. I'm just going to create, create the house and I'm going to have fun with that and nothing else, you know? But then <laughs> I had this house in my game and I was looking at it and I mean, this dude, while I was building his house, I made more and more of a story for him. So it was only natural that I... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I started playing him, yeah, and he uh, he got into a lot of different uh, adventures. He went to El Salvador Dorada, <laughs> or whatever it's called, and he picked up a lot of stuff that he dug up. He went to the temple, he got to the end, and he found some relics, and when he got home again, he actually put one relic together and it was a death relic and well what are you gonna do with a relic you need to activate it of course so and i had to try it and uh, uh apparently activating a death relic marks the same for death well you, you go figure <laughs> that wasn't so strange so then we, he had to go back to El Salvadorada to find the cure and it turns out you can just pay the, the statue over there for, uh, for forgiveness or whatever, so uh, he, he's fine out. <laughs> yeah, and another thing that happens when you go to temples and uh, dig a lot, a lot in the ground and you have the more fun stuff mod from Little Miss Sam is that uh, the athletic skill gets bumped up quite a bit so he's, he actually looks a lot better <laughs> after playing him a while uh, and he has gotten some skills and stuff so um, so that was fun anyways this is the bathroom and I thought I would um, 
I don't I, I don't remember what I thought actually, but um, yeah, we, we wanted it to be in keeping with the rest of the house. I just went into the directories of different items and found stuff that was black and sort of fitting to this dude's whimsical mind. And as you can see, the 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 sink is it's a it's an El Salvador sink. Just, but but it wasn't because it was that. It was because I thought it would look whimsical. That's why I put it. And then we got a lot of uh, artifacts and stuff that he might have dug up on previous trips, you know, because he likes to go there. <laughs> that is like part of his backstory. <laughs> anyway, on the more personal note, uh, I've started working again, so... Um, yeah, I was on vacation and it was nice and it's like every year it's like uh, you get used to being on vacation and then suddenly <laughs> you're supposed to go to work and all that stuff again and you just be like but wait this uh, I have gotten used to this life being on vacation and it was a good life why change something good that, that doesn't make sense so anyway I am back to recording stuff in the mornings and also streaming in the mornings and that might mean that you know in the morning before work so that might mean that my streams are going to be a little bit shorter uh, I'm still going to try and make one long stream uh, every weekend like on the Saturday or the Sunday depending on how I feel like today uh, it's Saturday and I felt that like I should really complete this video before I start <laughs> streaming a long stream again because you know I, I just feel like um, th this came before <laughs> and I wanted to get, get up there and I don't, didn't put it in the in the uh, I have a schedule I will try to remember to link the schedule in the notes. Actually, let me do that right now. Yeah, so done. I have added the schedule to <laughs> the notes that I'm going to put on this video. So I have a Google document that I will hopefully tr uh, remember to use because there is a lot of links for you guys there. Uh, I started building this um, with, with uh, custom content turned off but then my daughter borrowed my computer and the second day I recorded this yes because I recorded this during two days during two streams or actually three streams because I had a crash anyway <laughs> two days three streams so uh, then custom content was turned on and uh, I didn't I I didn't like notice really I just kept going in and using them because I love my custom content I, I downloaded them for a reason so afterwards I had to go in and see what custom content did I use and I used uh, this nifty program for that what is it called hang on Sims Tray Importer, it's called. There's, there's links for all the custom contents that I have used and also some of custom contents that I didn't use during the stream, but I changed it when I was playing because I think that it should be changed. Anyways, this house is on the gallery, both uh, half done and also all done <laughs> and also play tested. And also, you need to sh you need to move the, the mailbox because I I didn't play test that apparently before uploading it, and then I couldn't be bothered to upload it once again because I thought I was done. <laughs> so anyway, we progress down one floor, and we can see that he has. I I put that shelf over there because I thought that it it just fit him like. Uh, he's probably one of those 
dudes that buy a lot of stuff and then doesn't go into town uh, like forever and obviously he, he has the money for it <laughs> and uh, but in the game I actually removed all his money once I was done and started playing him he started with zero uh, simoleons and uh, that was interesting the bills for this house is about four and a half thousand so that is um, yeah th that's a challenge but if you go to El Salvadorada you ma can make lots of money with the relics and stuff and also you're going to see that he has a club downstairs that he where he earns some money and also <laughs> There's a lot of also, yeah, but also he likes gardening actually, so he has plants uh, in the house and outside the house and he earns some money from that so that he can go to El Salvadorada because the cheapest house there is like uh, somewhere around 200-300 a night, I don't remember, but if you have like 700 then you can go for like three days I think and uh, while you're there uh, you don't need to save any money for the stay you can just use all the money for the rent and then when you get there you will make money so fast it, it's it's ridiculous actually but that's the way it works in this game and we we can all be archaeologic archaeologists just a, okay I can't say that word but we can be them anyway so I don't really know if I actually realized when I was building this house but we are using a lot of nature materials it is like uh, wood and stone and uh, yeah that's about it actually <laughs> there is a lot of that uh, and a lot of dark and and white together and also the the accent color used in this house is blue uh, and that is just because I put the, the El Salvadorada uh, sink up in the bathroom and it has blue towels in it I matched the walls to that and then <laughs> and then it was done it, it was the accent color of the house so I just kept doing it <laughs> I just kept putting blue wherever I, I wanted a splash of color and I think it works really nicely actually uh, don't you <laughs> so in this area we're apparently using some stuff from a vampire stuff pack or what was it a game pack or a stuff pack I can't even remember what we're using it anyways and I think it goes surprisingly well with the rest of the house uh, it, it, you know it's weird to have those arches there but you know he's he is a bit whimsical and he can be uh, somewhat impulsive and so he might have like when he was designing the house that he was going to, to live in yeah of course he has designed this house he has made choices everywhere he, he worked with a with an architect obviously but you know it's his house and he decided where what would go where so he had some like spur of the moments uh, let's put this here kind of things and that included those arches <laughs> see what happens when you build and you have a dude already you you create a story for him I should always do this I should always create a sim and then build a house I will try that next time uh, it, it, it was really good this time I, I just wish it was a more unique sim and not the one that was like pre-made by Maxis because um, no I, I feel I can't share him because he's he's not mine <laughs> you know uh, I might do anyway and just write in the description why I feel like I, I can share him after playing him some some because I have like leveled up some skills and stuff so uh, I mean I made him mine now 
<laughs> in in some ways and I don't know if anyone wants him but you know you might I don't know okay <laughs> so anyway I, I know we got seasons but even though we did I feel like it's really strange that so many people talk about the weather I mean it's not strange we have some extreme weather and uh, we are not happy with it <laughs> actually i mean we have dreamed about hot summers all our lives and now that we got them we realize it's horrible you can't like escape from it like ever uh so because when you go to a hot country <laughs> i i don't i never understand how people live there like in spain and stuff it's too warm like how can you survive i don't understand but you know you go there for like a week and then you go home and then you feel like ah that was nice it was warm and everything and we had a nice nice time at the beach and all that kind of fun stuff but when the heat comes to your home and you are used to this weather that we have in the game right now you know it's kind of cold it's raining it's not fun uh, when you're used to that and it suddenly goes all uh, you know hot on you <laughs> then, then we we kind of panic actually we, we go inside and we sit by a fan and we are like what is this what am i going to do with this heat okay i can go to the beach but i can't be bothered to do that all the time i am a gamer i want to sit at my computer part of my vacation was like tagged to be uh, just computer gaming and when <laughs> When it's so hot in the computer room, then then it's awful. It's just awful. So, uh, but I think we're going to be fine soon because we had some really nice rain. I don't. I haven't actually looked out the window today, <laughs> but yesterday we had a, a thunderstorm and really there, there was a lot of rain and then I took my walk that I should always take on the evenings I don't always do that though uh, I should I should uh, and it was like really windy and I've heard that the reason for this heat wave is that it's actually not a wave at all it's because the upper layers of the atmosphere doesn't move the way they are supposed to or the way they used to because we have messed up our planet Th that is what is going on uh, yeah so the winds up there are not moving and that means that we have no cold fronts coming in like we usually do I think I mean, this is second-hand information for me and for, for you guys, it's just uh, me babbling about weather stuff that I don't really understand. <laughs> but so yesterday it was really windy and I thought, yeah, okay, so it's windy down here, but I hope it is windy down here because the air is finally starting to move and we will have cold fronts soon, I hope. But, you know, there's no way for me to tell, because I don't e ever watch the weather forecast. I just look at current weather and the clouds and try to make educated guests, uh, guesses, but they're not educated at all. <laughs> because even though I said when I was like five or four or something that I was going to be a meteorologist, I can't say this word either. It's horrible. Uh, I would go into meteorology. Let's leave it at that. But um, I could say it when I was four in Swedish. So meteorolog is so much easier in Swedish. <laughs> uh, anyway, even though I said that, uh, I never actually did go into meteorology. So. <laughs> I never did that. I wanted to work with computers later on, so that is what I did. 
Um, anyways, the part about so much easier in Swedish, I thought it was really funny once I figured out what what I did, what, uh, what I did wrong in my head when I thought, hey, Swedish must be the most easiest language to learn. Like, if you want to say rock, you just say rock. Actually, still. But, you know, uh, because... And, and I heard other children say this as well. This must be the most easiest language to learn for, for children. Because if you want to say this, you just say this. It, it's not, you ne don't need to translate. Don't you think that's cute that a lot of children think that way? Do you think that way, uh, the children think that way in English as well? I, I bet they do. I bet everyone has this moment once in their lives uh, where they think, hey, my language is the most easiest one, the other ones are hard. <laughs> and then you realize later on what, what mistake you made. <laughs> because, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's cute. <laughs> Did you see what I had to do to put the light on that table where I wanted it? I'm, I think that is. I think we should have a button, uh, don't snap to things, <laughs> button. You know, we already have move without snapping to grid button, but when you're placing stuff on top of uh, different surfaces, you get it snapping to places where it could be used on that surface. And what is when it is a decorative object, that doesn't really make sense. You want to be putting it where you want to put it and uh, the game won't let you. So I think we need to, a button for that, that, or possibly the game should realize this is a decorative item and I will just not snap. <laughs> um, I don't know what what is actually possible, but uh, EA, if you're listening, do it, please. Oh, on that note, I re recently saw that some people on YouTube were linking a mod where you can go into tab mode, in build mode. Yeah, so you don't need to go back to live mode or live mode or whatever it's called to just to look around. And if there is a mod for that, then I feel that in like in the next update, they should give it to us. Just, just can give it to us because you know um, why? Why do we have to go? I, it, it feels like one of those things that no one really realized was there. I mean, the, the lack of uh, presence was there. They didn't realize that. So I, I feel like, like it has just been forgotten. And some people keep saying that builders doesn't get stuff when they're doing stuff like oh thank god then we got something because we hardly ever get anything I, I keep hearing that and i don't think it's necessarily true but i i understand how you can feel that way but because for me i think like lots of new stuff lots lots of new objects and lots of new um, decorative things and so on. That, that to me feels like builders got stuff. But, you know, functionality, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe there, there's some room for improvement. And I like it. I like to uh, see it like room for improvement rather than problems because, you know, it's, it, it's more positive. I like to try and keep a positive positive outlook on um, <laughs> oh my god followers <laughs> yeah uh, the thing about thinking is that it can really affect you so if you think that um, everything is like shite and it sucks and everything is bad then your life is going to be kind of bad, you know, uh, because that's the mindset you're in. So if you instead think that how can I improve this, what can I do to make things better and just focus on the positive changes, 
then you can actually have a b way better experience even though you don't have better things and I it doesn't mean that you should settle for less it, it really doesn't but you know incremental steps towards betterness that is what you should do so you should like um, it is like for instance if you're not happy with your job but you don't you can't like quit and uh, get another job then you can like okay so how can I make this job a little better like if I like even if it's just if I put a plant on my desk then I feel a little bit better and you can focus on that for like a day <laughs> and then you can try and find uh, something else to do I mean yeah, yeah so and also uh, you should talk to your employer if you're not happy at your job because there might be something they can do and if there is if they actually do something and it gets way better I mean that's awesome right so uh, yeah, uh, try try to look at how can I change this to the better. And if if you know one situation sucks, then you have some spare time, I hope, and you can like focus on getting uh, doing that better, so that you have something to look forward to at the end of the day or uh, at the end of the week even. So yeah, th that is my two cents about well-being uh, for now. I have struggled a lot with depression and anxiety, so uh, I, I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about, if, you, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional health uh, person, <laughs> but I am a person that, that has struggled with things and sometimes it's better and sometimes it's worse and right now it's better and uh, part of that is actually medication and uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to be ashamed of that it, it's it is what it is i have like in, an imbalance in my brain that i can just take a pill and it goes away and isn't that awesome that 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 it exists something in the world that makes things better for me like with no effort yeah i i really i'm really happy i feel blessed that i found these pens <laughs> it's nothing it, it's nothing uh big or anything it's just uh you know the first thing they try when you are depressed you go to the doctor and they say try this and uh, for me it worked I mean, I, for the longest time, I wondered if it was all placebo uh, because I didn't feel anything from the pills. I still don't. Uh, I just didn't have anxiety anymore. And uh, so I thought, well, was this all in my head? And now that I'm taking pills, I don't think I can get anxiety. So I don't. Is that what is going on? But then I thought, yeah, if it is then I'm going to keep doing it because it obviously works. It, it, it's a big mess. <laughs> it, it's kind of like I won't say the confession in church because I, I don't want to lie in God's house. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like that. <laughs> you know, the same logic. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, I struggled with this uh, bar. I wanted some kind of display of bottles uh, behind the bar but I had such a trouble to find it and I really wished that we had a bar room you know in the room categories I wanted a bar category um, because and I, and I thought that we got all of the bar stuff maybe in one of the stuff packs or something but I couldn't find that um, so I don't really know <laughs> how to build bars you know um, but it's fine uh, I, I find my way and one thing that happens when you can't find uh, the things that you're looking for is you find other things and then you feel like oh I can put these here and then you get to have a really unique place instead. So 
So yeah, good and bad. <laughs> I put some planets on the wall just because I downloaded them at some point. Okay, actually a satellite and a planet. Uh, there's a moon and there's Jupiter, <laughs> you know, in case you don't recognize them, you, you do, <laughs> I think you do. I think those are the most common uh, sky bodies to learn like first, uh, because they're so uh, different and they're so, I mean the moon is like, it's, it's right there when you go outside at, at night and Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system, so it's it's kind of a big deal, you know? <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> Anyways, I finally got to the outside now. Oh, right, I wanted the, the washer machines to be outside, but um, we, you can't have them outside for reals, because even though you put them under the uh, decorative uh, ceiling thing then the rain still gets to them so they break every time it rains so we can't have that so that's why I put them in the greenhouse thing so uh, I, I actually built the greenhouse for the uh, for the washing machine that's kind of weird and then I, I asked an afterthought to put some uh, planters in there <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a, that's my, why, my way of building and I wanted the outside to not look as put together as it could be I mean I didn't want it to be like this dude goes around uh, trimming the bushes uh, I think I thought he didn't like gardening like at all but that doesn't make any sense he likes gardening but only when it's useful so he doesn't you know, do a lot of um, bushes and trees just for show. He, he has things he can harvest from. Uh, so, um, yeah. And, and the other things, they just grow wild. And the uh, harvesting is, you know, you can harvest flowers. So he has actually some flowers because as you may have noticed upstairs, he has one of those flower arranging uh, tables next to his archaeologically table. Archaeolog... What is it called? Archaeologically... Uh, ar archaeology... Archaeology... <laughs> Why is words so hard for me to say today? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I hope you enjoy uh, listening to me struggling with saying stuff because I'm not gonna cut it out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there in editing. So, anyways, here's a, a reading nook or something. I thought uh, back here you should have like this r really serene place that you can sit down and watch the boats and the ocean and uh, maybe have a drink. So I searched for the longest time for the lemonade thing that you put on tables. I think it was way too hard to find. They, they should make that easier. There it was. Oh, another mod that I used in this build is actually not visible, <laughs> but it is a lot trait that Little Miss Sam did. I'm fairly sure it was her. her. Yeah, I, I've linked it in the description, so you can go to the right place. Uh, and it is that you can have a live-in club or a live-in bar. Uh, there's both of them, and I'm not really sure about the difference. Uh, I ended up with a club, uh, because I think you get money for guests, like, while they're there, or like, entrance fees, or something like that. So that is actually how he makes some of his monies to get to El Salvadorada and uh, I think that it, it works. Uh, he has to open his bar and then he tends the, the bar and he makes some monies, you know? Anyways, we are finally done with this build, I think, except for the small things that I felt like fixing 
afterwards, but this is where I share it on the gallery. So, you know, it's there, you can go and fetch it for yourself. Just remember to, to click that you want to include custom contents when you watch, when you look at, you know, buildings and stuff. Oh look, I, I changed stuff afterwards, but I, I shared it again later on. Uh, just look for my name, Videliten, on the gallery and you will be fine. You will find this awesome house where you can have a club downstairs and you can have uh, all the other rooms that I also built that I don't actually remember right now. But here is the beautiful house that I built for this whimsical sim with a swing on top. Yeah, the swing actually goes on top of the house and not the sim, but you got that. Oh, 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 oh,